is Mark from AllAboutTheHouse.com and I'm going to remove some carpet today. And the reason I titled this video Carpet Removal Made Easy is because taking carpet out, even though it's not terribly complicated, it can be filthy and it can be really cumbersome. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to remove basically the carpet in this room and in the room behind, uh, behind you there. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do it piece by piece. Tool wise, you only need a couple of things. You need a pair of pliers, some duct tape, because we're going to roll it and we're going to tape it for the garbage, and a razor knife or a carpet knife. All right, so let's take a piece of this out and you can see exactly what I mean. All right, so start in the corner, just, just with the regular pliers. We're going to pull this corner up here. You just get a grip. It should pull right up. You see the tack strips and the padding down below. Um, what we're going to do is, like I said, three foot strips tend to work well with the garbage. Plus, if you look, um, to the side here. I haven't removed this hutch yet, so I've got about three feet. So until I can get that out of here, that's going to sit there. But let's, with your razor knife or a carpet knife, you basically just want to try to cut through both the, the carpet and the padding below. Alright, and fundamentally, Just, you just pull it up, all right? So I'm going to pull this, I'm going to cut this all the way to the end, and I'm going to roll it as I take it up. And then I'm going to use my duct tape to wrap it up. Okay, the, the padding I'm rolling up like the carpet um, is actually nailed to the subfloor, my subfloor is wood uh, as well. So because I had given a nice score through the carpet and the padding with that razor knife at the beginning, this is pulling away from the carpet. But again, you've got these nails that you basically have to pull against as you roll this up. Okay, so the first strip's removed. If you look over here, you can see that you know I've got two nice little uh, wrapped bundles ready for the garbage folks. Or if they don't take them, I'm going to drive it to the dump. But if you just look back in here now at the subfloor, so here's the plywood. Again, I'm planning to do hardwood in here, all fine and well. I just want to draw your attention to a couple of things that you're going to need to clean up if you're doing something like this. First off, the nails that were holding the padding in are going to need to come out. Um, and the second thing you need to be very aware of are these tack strips. If you're removing your carpet to save some money, uh, to have somebody later come in and install a new carpet, if you remove those tack strips, um, they're going to charge you to put new ones in. So you don't, you don't really want to remove these if they're in good shape, and these are in very nice shape. If you're doing hardwood, though, they gotta go. So, if you're doing this little project, this, this removal project in anticipation of new carpet, think about leaving them. Alright, I'm gonna finish out the rest of this room now and we'll call it a day. Okay, a few hours have gone by and you can see the entire subfloor is now exposed and really clean. As clean as it's gonna get, anyway. Um, the tack strips are all gone because, again, in my case, I'm gonna do hardwood. Uh, uh, so many staples were holding that carpet padding in place. Every single one of them had to go. And then I cleaned up the floor as best I can. You have to check for uh, nail heads in the subfloor that might be up. You bang them down a little bit and then you just sweep and sweep and vacuum. And I use a shop vac because for a project like this, you don't want to use your house vacuum cleaner or even your central vac if you have one. This is definitely shop vac territory. You'll be sucking up nails and pieces of wood and the like. But as of now, I'm happy to say this room is ready for the hardwood floor to begin. But that's enough for today. Uh, this is Mark from All About the House. Thanks for watching.